This one was suggested by one of my patrons, Tom. Hey, Tom. And it's a band that covers a couple of generations and they're from Atlanta and they have a YouTube channel. So let's check them out. is I love that breathy edge that she has as well and the control over her runs is really really nice I also really appreciate those harmonies how they're all singing together and actually I think um most of them are recording it there's tune mics there's someone recording somewhere else so you know that they can't be tuned that much because if there's two people on one mic then you know that's actually how they're singing it can't be quite as uh, easily manipulated so that's it's kind of nice just to see that on on youtube because actually a lot more than you think is probably auto-tuned in fact most things have some sort of tuning on them these days or some sort of effect and um, so it's kind of cool to see that i don't think this has they're mixed really well though Nice run. Oh, only one mic. Her runs are so slick. I am really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying having people, kind of normal people, singing from different generations. It's really nice to see how music brings people together. And um, I wish there was more of this happening. But I also, going back to the music, I just keep on saying it. These harmonies are so, they're clashy, but they're so pitch perfect which is really really beautiful and really really difficult to do they're dead on so they've obviously worked on on all the stops all the starts making sure that they are just really t together they've done a lot of rehearsal goodness i'm loving these um people often ask me how they do harmonies and there's not a quick like you know straight away um and people say oh thirds and thirds are a thing if you are a third above that's often a nice harmony with your root note however um 
you really have to understand how chords are constructed and what is going to sound nice within those chords. So your chords are generally the root note, the third and the fifth of your scale. And those are what the ones that are going to sit nice and snug and perhaps the octave as well. Um, now you can be really creative with this and, and how you space them out. If you do, you know, uh, a root note and a fifth, you're probably going to have a more spacious feel than um, if you fill all those gaps within in your chord. However, you can get some funky jazzy chords and sometimes doing things like there where he dropped down the octave and you got that kind of bassy sound can be really nice. So harmonies there are some rules things that are really close together clash and that's not necessarily always bad um but it's gaining an understanding of how the mechanics of chords work can be so so helpful in learning your harmonies and um finding harmonies yourself Oh my goodness, I love it. Ooh, great mix. I really want you to look at her mouth position. Is really, she's just relaxing that jaw down. Often people kind of either try and force their jaw and they're like, they kind of or push it forward or jut it forward, but she's just allowing it to kind of fall down. And her tongue is really, really relaxed. And these are two things that are really important, a relaxed jaw and a relaxed tongue. Um, so when you're singing, if you're getting tension, if your tongue is kind of pulling back in your mouth, then that's something that you might need to work on. And you can do that by singing your songs like, uh, 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 uh. you'll know that if you're getting any tongue tension because your tongue will try and sneak back into your mouth but if you can sing it with your tongue out then hopefully it will get used to being relaxed and out and um, then you can sing it again with the words and hopefully it won't tense up again go check out their YouTube channel. That was a pleasure to watch. It just feels like people enjoying music together and that's really what it's all about. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.